Before the advent of online multiplayer, most shooters were played on a single TV with a split screen straight across the middle. And at some point, everybody, and yes I do mean everybody, was caught screen looking at their opponent's view to get some kind of an advantage. But, the ability to screen look in real life combat, that wouldn't give you the same advantage as it does in a video game. Or, or would it? Oh, son of a bitch. You stole my line. We've come out here to the official Rooster Teeth Battle Arena to run a little experiment. Today, we're going to be seeing how a video game split screen view would affect real life combat. How are you doing, Chums? All right, pretty good. Top. Have you ever been in any actual combat before? I rarely even go outside, so that'd be a hard no. I think today might be a good day to take it up a notch. These are the weapons you're going to be using. We have some paintball guns and, of course, some paint grenades. Well, have you guys walked around out here yet? This place is caked in paint. So I'm just going to find a wall that is exactly this color and use my natural camouflage. There you go. Nice. I'm going to go talk to Gus. Do not hurt yourselves yet. I'm worried about that thing I signed. The lawyer said it was fine, Gavo. All right, so Gus, how are we going to pull this one off? So the real challenge here was how do we recreate that split screen perspective in the real world? So we outfitted the top of Gavin and Michael's helmets with these GoPro cameras. Then we take that video signal using a micro HD transmitter. We transmit it to our video broadcast system. That video broadcast system then takes the video signals and mixes them together, creating the split screen effect. Then we take that signal and we transmit it back to the guys who are wearing our patented video goggles. So what we end up with is their own point of view and their opponent's point of view, which gives them the ability to screen look in real life. All right, well, it should make it very disorienting for them and highly, highly entertaining for us. That's the plan. Here's how this is gonna go down. The lab rats are gonna start at opposite sides of the map. They're each gonna have their own paintball gun and paintball grenade. Just like in a real FPS game, we have scattered weapons all across the map for the guys to find. The first one to hit the other one three times takes the round. The first one to get to two out of three rounds wins the entire match. What they don't know is that NPCs played by the lovely Lindsay and Barbara will be hunting them down with their own paintball guns. All right, let's start round one. Oh, fuck. Man, the graphics are really good. Obviously, in the first moments, the hardest part for them is going to be getting used to that split screen where they see their view and their opponents. Uh, Gavin, where are you, buddy? OK, it looks like he's walking around the build. Is that me? I think you can see me. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> he really found him. Gavin taking some opportune shots there. He fell down a hole! Clearly when you're trying to look at a split screen view, you don't see the hole that's right underneath your own two feet. Gavin, where are you, buddy? He knows I'm in this door, but does he know which door? Oh, oh my spine! Did I get you, buddy? Michael Truce! Gavin! Oh, oh. They both came around in the corner. They didn't know the other one was there. It's the door! All right, Let's grenade getting, getting ready. ready. I wonder if those grenades are going to make the difference. Oh, grenade! It didn't work. It's <laughs> <laughs> a misfire. Oh, here's another grenade. This one's Michael, it looks like. Oh, you got a grenade, huh? Bring it! I couldn't figure out how to undo it. Oh, fuck! I grenaded myself! <laughs> Premature detonation. I swear it never happens to him, ever. <laughs> oh! oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, I found another one. Yeah, got oh, and he dropped, dropped it. it. Oh, no. He dropped it. Ah. Look at that, my fish in the barrel. Yeah, he's got him. He's got him. Oh. Oh. What's the call for Michael? Yeah, I think All right, think. first round goes to Michael. This is round two. We now have our NPCs played by Barbara and Lindsay. They're going to be acting as snipers in the tower up there. Can't wait to see this. OK, no falling over this time. Ah. They're already hard at work. Oh. Oh, my knob! Oh! Holy shit, Gavin! Are you all right? Yeah, that was great! Oh, here comes Michael. Oh. They're uh, jockeying for position. Oh! Oh, my the bloody baby! Each other. Oh, that's definitely Gavin running away. <laughs> the fuck is over there! Fuck, fuck, fuck! <sighs> Who is that? Is that Michael? That's Michael waiting. He's hiding like a pussy behind some wall. To that wall? To that wall? Oh. Gavin has him pinned oh. down. 
Oh, that's yeah, firing blind. Firing blind oh. at your opponent and the film crew. Gavin, come out and play. Good night. Oh, oh, my spine. Oh. Michael is in the hole again. <laughs> The it's the hole? same hole. Oh. Yeah, falling in again for a second Damn, time. Damn this hole! We're gonna check to make sure he's not hurt, but nah. <laughs> it's still funny. Blind king maneuver, dude. War is hell. Oh, oh look man! At that. Uh. Brutal gut shot. Ooh. This round goes to Gavin because Michael was shot by the NPCs. Oh. He was having a good time, and Lindsay just took him down. So this is round three. They each have one round apiece. This is gonna decide it. Oh, look! Michael's in the hole already! <laughs> he fell in right away. Third time's a charm. I fell in the same hole again! And you pulled out again. Here's what we're learning. A hole is your biggest opponent in a split screen environment. So Michael was checking out a split screen there. No, oh, bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Gavin, buddy! Michael. Is that me? Is that me? That's me! I can see my leg! Oh! God damn it, Kevin! Michael! Yeah! Get back in there! Are you on the roof? Oh, oh, fuck. oh! That was a good shot in the arm! Oh, that can you help! Gavin! You around here? Are you right behind this corner? Here we go! Let's get him over here, tell him how they did. Fuck. That is so painful. Yeah. Well, another successful test for Rooster Teeth Labs. Guys, walk us through it. You didn't tell us about the NPCs, who at one point lit me up from both directions. You had to be able to adapt on the fly. I adapted to getting shot in the penis. Yeah, I got shot right in the penis. What was the hardest part about navigating with the split screen? I may have slipped into a <laughs> hole once or twice or three times. Or three times, yeah. <laughs> But Gavin, you used it to your advantage at one point. We saw you testing around a wall. I could see him peeking around a corner, and I didn't know whether it was the corner I was looking around. So I did a little bit of stuck sticking my leg out, and I saw it on his screen. So I was like, I'm charging this corner. Well, let's assume you guys had to go into combat. Like, we get to the lowest possible point of military reserves, and you two have to go. Would you want the other team's view? God, no. Absolutely no. not. Just better not to know. No, no just, grenades just either. Yell. Okay, well, we're supposed to award a winner who won science this week on Immersion. Uh, unfortunately, I can't give it to either of you guys. I can't give it to the whole, even though I'd like to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it to Barbara and Lindsay. They got the most hits. Well, I'm so. glad, I'm glad we shit. came. Thanks for having us. Yeah, what the a... hell? Hey, listen, you guys are still alive, so I guess we have to have another episode of Immersion at some point in the future where these guys eventually will get killed. Thank you for watching. Can we shoot them now? Go, please be my guest. <laughs> Those kids.